cave dweller. I'm uh, through my uh, Inca uh, metaphysical training slash uh, vision quest, year long vision quest. I've discovered that I have only always wanted to be a superhero. That's been my whole goal in life become a superhero. And I didn't know this was my goal because why would you make that your goal? It's totally unrealistic. My goal instead became things like become an artist or be a writer. That was the first one, I think. No, actually, the first one was be an astronaut. My buddy Mark and I, Mark was also my guide as far as uh, showing me uh, the world of sex and sexuality. And I discounted his guidance because it was evil, right? I was because I wanted to be holy. I wanted to be holy. Why later I wanted to be holy because I wanted to be a superhero because I'd be invincible like King David. All right, so my buddy Mark and I are on the porch. We're writing down what our costumes are going to look like and what our van with our explosives is going to look like because we're going to be a superhero team. And we started training, you know, didn't last long. We couldn't figure out how to attach the skateboard to the bicycle so that we could use it as a shuttlecraft for the bicycle. Anyway, uh... We wrote this stuff down. My mom finds it in my dresser one night and she's like, what is this? And the tone of her voice made me feel ashamed and I didn't know why. So I tore it up and threw it behind my bed. It was gone forever. The dream of being a superhero. And so I forgot about it, but it's always been there. Everything I've done has been uh, seeking to be more than human. And I even said that once, uh, my ex-wife, uh, contacted me out of the blue. She was stalking me and I posted something on Facebook, a picture of a Pema Chabran book and a glass of wine. You know, we post these idiotic pictures of food. I wonder what that means, actually. I don't think about it. Anyway, and she's like, you think you're better than me? And I'm like, I don't, I don't give a fuck about enlightenment. I just want to be a superhero. That's what I told her. And I was just kind of being facetious, but that's really all I've ever wanted. I was... In Mexico, as part of this training, uh, we were learning to build tesmacals, which are sweat lodges in the Mexican style, the Mayan style. And I'm by the pool before we walk over to the small swath of jungle that still remains in Tulum. And a bird with a split tail swoops in and does all these swift acrobatics. These are the kind of birds that I've seen in Lake Michigan by the pier. I don't know what they're called, but they have a split tail. And when Pachacuti Inca, the archetype for the crown chakra. When I first encountered him in this training, he appeared to me as one of these birds. And I'm like, whoa, it's Pachacuti Inca. We go to the training and um, we do a, a sadhana with a very specific, I don't, can you call it a mantra? I don't know. It took an hour to recite this thing and not, I couldn't even read it. It was in Sanskrit. And if you know anything about Sanskrit, it's not pronounced the way it's written even though it's written phonetically. It's very annoying. But I did my best, and at the end, he, he gives a brief um, talk about one of the verses of this piece, and he looks right at me, and he says, artists, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't even remember what he said, but he's like, uh, artists, something about artists being visionaries, something like that. And he's looking right at me saying this. And he didn't know I was an artist. And then later... He's talking at the Tesma colony. He's like, in Mayan, the word for shaman, they don't have the word shaman. That's not a Mayan word. They never use it. The word for wise man, the man who knows the ways of the spirit, is X-Men. 